Recently, I've been thinking a lot about how the anti-cheat system in my multiplayer game Powerlust will work. Most of the big AAA multiplayer games do most of their logic on the server, so that a cheater couldn't hack into the game and change these things to gain an unfair advantage. But my game is peer-to-peer, -peer, meaning that there is no server that controls the logic, and instead it's all done on the clients. This means that of course a cheater could simply hack into the game and change whatever they want. The reason I'm doing this though is because having a dedicated server for your game is very expensive, and as someone with a budget of approximately zero dollars, this is my best option. For Powerlust, I've been using Photon Unity Networking. This makes a lot of the basic multiplayer stuff easier to do, and also provides me with some free servers that can have up to 20 people online at once, which is very helpful for developing the game. However, cheaters will cause a big problem for me. There is one thing that we can do with Photon, and that is to kick players. We could implement a vote kick system like in Team Fortress 2, but that comes with its own problems. Obviously, a cheater wouldn't want to be kicked from the game, and because power loss is peer-to-peer, -peer, as I've mentioned before, a cheater could simply use this system against us, and straight up refuse to be kicked by voting no several times, or just start kicking random players so our silly little vote kick system would be completely ineffective. But what could we actually do against this? Well, the master client, or the owner of a room, is the only player that the Photon servers will actually allow to call the disconnect function, meaning that a cheater cannot use this system against us, the servers simply won't allow them. So I've decided to create a system that allows the master client to kick whoever they want. But another concern of mine is that even if the master client can kick these players, the players could still be annoying, or they could try and hide and use more subtle cheats so that the master client doesn't notice them. And so I decided that it might be best to change how the game's matchmaking works, from automatic matchmaking where you're placed into an empty room, to manual matchmaking where you have to input a join code in order to join a room. This does bring up the issue that if you have no friends, you simply can't play the game. So I've come up with a genius solution of creating a place in my Discord server where you can just share these join codes. But be warned, if you do so, there is a chance you might encounter a cheater. But what do you think? Is this a good solution to the problem, or do you know of a better way to handle this? Let me know in the comments. Anyway, so before I end off this video, I wanted to talk about the style of the video. If you've been around this channel for a while, you'll know that I've been extremely indecisive over the style of my devlogs. A new idea I had was to create devlogs where I write a bunch of little segments, like this video, and then I'd combine all these segments together in the final script, and then have a big devlog that's about 20 or so of these videos. I almost finished scripting one of these videos, but then I realized it'd just be better if I split it up into 20 separate videos, so that's what I'm doing. We had a discussion on this in my Discord server and everyone seemed in favour, so I'm probably going to make a few videos like this and just see how it goes. Anyway, thank you for watching and I'll see you all in the next video.